Today I'm going to review Our Mathematical Universe My Quest for the Ultimate Nature of Reality by Max Tegmark So this book, it's a uh, kind of making a, a simple philosophical point. Uh, he's trying to argue that the universe is nothing but a mathematical structure. And a mathematical structure, for all I can tell, is just that everything's math. Uh, seems like a kind of a simple premise, and uh, from the outset it seems kind of similar to the book Something Deeply Hidden that I reviewed earlier. I think it's by Sh Sean Carroll about uh, kind of the, the true nature of reality and explaining quantum mechanics. Uh, I thought this book was going to kind of be similar. Turns out it's very different and more confusing. The book doesn't start off with the idea that the universe is mathematical. It kind of follows Max Tegmark's career from when he first learned about physics all the way through, uh, you know, various accomplishments. And then along the way, he explains different topics and he kind of builds this argument and kind of shows you how he came to the conclusion that the universe is mathematical. And then he kind of goes on what seems like an unscripted journey through a bunch of random topics and he throws in personal stories along the way. Uh, and at the end of the book, I was kind of tired of listening to it. And I still didn't understand the basic concept he was getting at. I still have fundamental questions about uh, what exactly his argument was saying and why it was different than something. So when he argues that the the universe is a mathematical structure, I'm, I'm not sure how that's too different from saying everything in nature can be perfectly described with mathematics. So, like, if, if math can just describe everything that is in the universe, how is that different than the universe just being math? Like, I'm not sure how he made that leap or if he thinks there's a difference between those two ideas. Uh, it, it's still blurry to me. And it's kind of unfortunate because I think the core concept of the book was really interesting. I was really interested in, in you know, people pondering why math describes our world so well. And it seemed like that's what this book was going to be about, but, I mean, maybe it was in parts and there were some interesting areas. But overall, the, the book just really didn't land with me. One of the things that kind of bothered me in this book was that, you know, while I think he didn't really describe the argument very clearly, he throws in a lot of these personal stories and they might have, because, I mean, his career was in physics, so... He has a lot of physics-related stories, but none of the stories help explain the concepts he's talking about, or these little tidbits don't help, you know, further my understanding of any of this content. It seems to just kind of be indulging his ego, and I don't think it really added much to the book. And by the end of the book, I was kind of tired of it, and I kind of wanted to move on. And, you know, that's kind of that's disappointing, because I read his... his latest book, Life 3.0. I really loved that book and recommended it. So I was expecting a lot. And yeah, this book really just didn't land with me. But I like the subject matter and I like the concept. So I don't know. I think it's just uh, maybe he improved a lot as a writer. or Maybe there are too many ideas in this book. But for whatever reason, I'm still confused about what it was about. And I don't think I learned anything. And there's a lot of stuff that w w didn't seem relevant to the points he was making. Uh, so overall, I don't think I would recommend this book to most people, though. If, if you're really into the subject and you're willing to like read very slowly, and if you know a decent amount of quantum mechanics coming into the book, then you can probably get through it and understand most things, and you might like it. But uh, I think it's just kind of flawed as a book, though kind of the source material and the concepts seemed very promising. But, you know, it just really didn't pan out for me. So I hope you guys like this review. I've got more reviews coming soon, so uh, stick around, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.